I'm going to show you the process of going into the Pronto exam. Now, obviously, at some point, I'm going to have to stop because you cannot have any other programs running or, um, you know, any, any 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 kind of recording, of course, right? So I've got the um, 47P reinforced concrete exam here to take. Uh, when you purchase this, it's good for an entire year. It will expire after a year. So you've got to take the exam within that time. So here's how this is going to work. And believe me, I did this yesterday and oh my gosh, it took me probably, it took me over an hour to just get everything set up and kind of dialed in. Okay. Now here you're going to go to online proctoring, new booking and uh, find your time zone. For me, I'm going to be in Arizona time zone and I'm going to do they don't it's right away okay so obviously that's today the 15th which is today and the time they're giving me oh boy let's look oh my gosh okay so two out no oh yeah that's right now I'm going to go ahead and do that because I'm ready to take it. Submit booking. Let's see how fast I can get. Now, you're going to have to download. Okay, so here, exam available in one minute. You go back to launch page. This is not always very clear. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can help you guys clear some things up. Um, I agree to their terms. They've got some things here that they explain. And then, um, okay. I'm not given take an exam yet. So, uh, the you're going to have to download this program called um, Log Me In. Okay, they it, it's part of see the support Log Me In Rescue. Um, this is what you're actually going to be connecting to the proctor with. See, I had I had connected my webcam and everything, and then I didn't realize that I had to do this too and log into or get this up and running. So I was sitting there waiting for a proctor, and then it turns out I just needed to to load that right. So that was a huge problem that I didn't realize what was going on. So now that I've got this here, see this? So now it is connecting and um, let's see. I ran into this problem too, where it kept saying disconnected and like it was trying to, the session has expired. So I may have to redownload it again. I'm actually not sure. This is how kind of confusing this is. Uh, let me click on details. Okay, no details. One second. Back to launch page. Let me click this again. Launch exam. Okay, here we go. I may have to re-download the login. Okay, check this out. This is what you're downloading, what I was telling you. Um, it's going to come in my finder window. Um, that's on another screen. You can't see it. Um, but it's... It's this, okay? So, I don't know, my rescue. I guess it's a new, okay, so now it's a, a new one again. So I guess maybe you have to re-download that every time is what it looks like. Okay, I guess I see the chat box, I'll click that. Um, I have to agree to these guidelines, see that? Great, I'll agree. You got to stay seated. You got to be quiet. They don't want any talking in the room. You got to stay within the camera because they're going to be watching you the whole time. And it can't be any, you know, public place. They don't want you whispering with anybody. So I'm going to agree to that. And let's see. I'm allowing the microphone. Okay. In order to continue, please share your entire screen. So I'm actually, I'm, okay, this is where I was stuck because I can see myself here and I was just sitting there waiting. But what I had to do was open up this support, you know, login rescue to do it. And then I connected with the proctor. Then she took over the screen, erase, like make sure everything was closed, make sure my settings were, were cut off too. Uh, for example, let me show you, let's see if I can pull it up here. Okay, on a Mac, okay, I had to go to keyboard and then shortcuts and I, you know, they're gonna make sure all this is unchecked so you cannot screenshot things, okay? Um, that's part of the process. So the proctor comes on and controls your computer and does all that. So I'm going to, um, what is this here? Let me disconnect my screen. I'm going to stop. Well, maybe I won't stop this. Let me see. Um, Dr. Lou. Dr. 
option to move the screens. Okay, no, that's not it. Screen two. This is it. Okay. Allow. Okay. I, and I, I have an external monitor plugged in right now. That's what I'm doing this on. It's a 32 inch. I'm going to have to disconnect it. This is one of the terrible things about this system because you want to use that big monitor for plan reading, but you can't. So I'm going to, okay, let's see. Um, I'll stop this now because I'm going to put my driver's license up, but this is like right as you're getting into the test session. Um, and I have to take off my hat, of course, you can't wear a watch, even if it's, you know, a normal watch. Um, this is right up until you're getting in to take the test and connecting with a live proctor. So uh, I'm going to disconnect this recording and uh, hope this helps. Just got done taking the uh, reinforced concrete plans test again, uh, this time through Pronto. Uh, you can see my office setup now, of course, I mean, this is my normal setup. You cannot use an external display. They will uh, screen when they screencast you, when they're recording you, they will control your computer and they will check your displays and make sure everything's disconnected. So I didn't have this uh, connected like this. And in fact, I had to reorientate my laptop to the end of my desk towards the angle of the camera where you're sitting now because the window was creating too much of a glare. So you can't be really sitting in front of a window. Let's say you've got to, you got to have like a solid background and the lighting can't cast any kind of weird shadows or, or silhouette you in any way. Uh, you have to, you have to take your computer beforehand and, you know, show all four sides of the room. You've got to show under your desk. You've got to show, um, you know, nobody's in there or you've got to have a clear surface, clear off anything. Your phone's got to, you want to have your phone with you in the beginning because they want to see you um, record or, or, or have your camera on flipped so they can see you through the camera of your computer and they can see what your computer looks like itself. So I had to do that. Then they asked you to put your phone away on the other side of the room. And uh, obviously you don't want to have distractions. But the minute I click to take the test. I got an email or a text from somebody that was coming by to drop something off. So I had to break away. I lost almost 15 minutes, but they will let you do that kind of thing. If you, you just, it's a scheduled restroom break, right? So it can be whatever I guess it is. Uh, but, um, uh, it is permitted. So I was, able, I literally spent almost 15 minutes talking to the person and figuring things out. And then I came back in and just finished taking the test. So, uh, as far as the test goes, content wise, um, the, the, our, our training course is still very up to date. Um, uh, our training will cover pretty much everything on the test. I didn't really see any surprises. There were two questions that, uh, that, um, you would like, for example, without divulging really the test, I guess, um, the, the, the test asks a question about, uh, a thickened slab. And uh, it gives you some ratios to kind of follow to figure that out. But you don't see how thick the slab is in, in any of the exhibits they show. But you would have seen the thickness of the slab in a previous question. So I don't know if they did that on purpose, but you didn't have the you didn't have enough of the, the exhibits to come up with that answer because you needed to know the regular thickness of the slab. And then you can, you know, add the variables that show in the detail for a thick slab, how thick the total should be. So, uh, I, I mean, fixing that, I went back a few questions, uh, a lot of questions to, to catch that. But if the questions are randomized, you may not, you know, you may not see it first. So there was one like that. There was another one with the lap splice where, um, obviously you have to know the strength of the concrete and, um, you know that by the general notes, but they didn't have the general notes attached to the exhibit. So I had to go back to remind myself what the strength of that particular member was. So there was two questions like that that didn't have direct, you know, you had to, you had to kind of hunt and get a, you know, another, another exhibit from another question just to piece together everything. Um, other than that, pretty, pretty straightforward. And, um, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll be ready with our test. I definitely the proctor, uh, the, the pronto version of this, because when you, you know, with a laptop, I can zoom in and out, which is nice, but, Wherever you have the mouse, they force this square on you that magnifies that area. And it's disorientating a bit. It's, um, 
you know, you, you come to find out that the very top of your mouse cursor is like the bottom, like everything above that's kind of this enlarged square. But even then, it's still it's still pretty challenging to work with. It's like I kept um, I kept trying to I kept trying to avoid it honestly because I I try to get used to it, but still it it just kind of was inhibiting, I, I guess, a bit. So I didn't uh, I didn't like it. I would recommend going into the test center to take the test if you can, especially if you're not comfortable with computers. Don't do this at home. It's very frustrating. Um, but um, I I did try to use the um, I, I did use the you know the square magnification a little bit here and there just when I wanted to kind of get a glimpse of something. But I mostly found myself pinching and zooming and then bringing the mouse to the top of the screen to get that square off of my, you know, get it out of the way from, from view. So, uh, I mean, it wasn't, it probably, uh, it probably took me 20 questions out of the 30 just to, I don't know, maybe feel comfortable with it or just kind of feel like, um, okay, I can kind of work with this system. Didn't love it. Uh, again, it, it is convenient because you're at home, but I mean, this is a 15 inch laptop. And uh, I mean, you, you can see everything, but it's it's got its limitations. So anyway, that's my synopsis. Um, if you have any questions about this kind of thing, just hit us up and let us know. Thanks.